<laughs> Hi, everybody. All right, so growing up, I didn't really like have a lot of lead roles. I was always like the funny sidekick who never had a song. Um, and uh, my first piece of my average was, was Grease. And I had like one of them Polaroid headshots. It was, it was real great. I don't know if it's, yeah. <laughs> it really is like, it was like a hate crime waiting to happen. It's like, it does not get better. Um, that, was, that was for Grease. And I was in the ensemble when I played the voice of the mad scientist. Um, uh, he's become half werewolf, half man, something like that. Oh. I think like, an important, an important crucial oh, to the story. Absolutely, it's right before he tries to rape her. Um, <laughs> that's what it is, really. It's to be serious. Um, so that that was my first headshot, and then I discovered this theater back home called Crystal Theater. Actually, my roommate was there, Samantha. And we did original musicals. So I've been originating for a long time. <laughs> you know, and we didn't have previews or nothing, we just opened. Because <laughs> we were walking like that. So I couldn't come and do an original song from the show because you wouldn't know what that is. But like the shows were all about like immigrating into the US, like people were dying from TB and malaria. Like it was real shit. You know? Um, and one of the shows we did was called Louder Than Words. And it took place in an insane asylum. And this guy comes and uses like musical therapy to help the patients out. And they put on a show and it's about like an angel who like the other angels are fighting for and the devil. And so I, I play like a little devil dude in it. <laughs> now, I just, I just found this video, uh, this photo a couple, a couple years ago. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, it looks like the cover to George Orwell's Animal Farm. Like, oh. <laughs> Don't I look? Literally, it's like I'm bullying my former self. So, so the thing is, I know it's so tragic, but it gets better. Um, I was in camp. It's okay. Um, so the fuck we got there. Yeah, it worked out for you. You're gonna get worked out for you. Um, so, the thing is. What I, what I really did, like where I really lived, was like in my bedroom and in the shower. That's where I like sang my heart out. At Jesus Christ Superstar album was everything. I learned how to sing in falsetto, listen to that. Yeah. Go, my temple should be a house of prayer. Um, <laughs> I loved that. I also loved, um, the way I, I loved Jesus Christ Superstar, and I always wanted to play Billy Bigelow, even though I'm like totally Enoch. And, um, <laughs> but there was also like in the shower, I would sing like all these female songs, like tortured women. Um, because that's where the drama was, and that's how I felt. Like, I was like, see me in act one, you know? Like, Mrs. beating me, my daddy raped me, I had the babies, they took me away. I've been through some shit, you know? That's how I felt, but it was all inside. And so, I would, I would release it via the music, and I'm like screaming in falsetto and stuff. And as in high school, my mom and I, and my sister and her baby live in a, a two bedroom apartment. So, if I came out of my bedroom, it was like the stove was right there. My, all the bedrooms led to the kitchen. And I was in this bedroom here, my mom was over there, my sister and the baby were in the living room. Um, and so I would either sing in the bedroom and my mom would hear it all in the kitchen, or I would sing in the bathroom. And I'd, I'd come out of the bathroom and she would go, you done screaming? <laughs> and all she heard was, my temple should be, you know? Um, anyway, so, that, so what I'm gonna do for you today is, I'm gonna give you guys, oh wait, and the other reason I didn't bring, I didn't bring video footage or anything is because like, all my music of me singing in high school is on this. <laughs> Do you remember, wait, I wonder if you can hear it. You can't hear it, like, it makes that sound when you're scrolling for music, yeah. it's so, and oh, anyway. So this right now is like, me living in my shower, cause that's the biggest throwback. Um, <laughs> and how I felt inside. <laughs> Whose faces were gone. <laughs> they 